Hello Krishna dear devotees, in this video I will show you how to paint the eyes of Krishna. I mean Gorantai deities. First, I am painting the Goranga Mahaprabhu's eyes. I selected brown color to be the inner part of his eyes. I'm using acrylic paints. You can use enamel paints. I will link the enamel paint details in the description very soon. So deity usually comes with white paint and little small black dot. And around that I'm painting uh, the eyeball. Now here I carefully, very carefully circumambulated that eyeball with black color. I fast forwarded the video in actually in real world I am painting it so slow because it's so much detailed work. And I'm using a brush uh, the very tiny corner I mean very tiny points like the small the smallest brush available when you're painting the kajal part the D2 already has a card place so you need to paint on top of that card card um, place the other eye as well don't worry about the smudging once the paint dries and it's acrylic paint it dries faster I will clean it up nicely Somehow the camera goes blurry in between, focusing. So as you see here, I'm cleaning up the dried paint, which has smudged. Now, after cleaning, I'm going to paint the eyeshadows. I tried painting different colors of eyeshadows, but at last I settled down to green color. Carefully do the same to the other eye. Now, this is very crucial moment. So, as you remember the brown color paint, I took that paint a little bit, and I took white color acrylic paint, then I added little water, and then I mixed it nicely, and now I'm painting in the eyes to create that eye, real eye, um, feeling because our eyes have different different uh, reflections on them so I'm trying to create that effect so you have to remember the same color as the eye and then mix it with white color so as you see now I didn't put water it's a little bit dry later I learned that you need to put a little water to make it liquid so now I put water, now it's easier to paint it. Here actually I put a lot of white color. Later I will correct it. Just adding a little more brown on top of it. It's a very detailed work, 
So I'm very slow. I never painted in my life. If I paint something, you will faint if you look at my painting. Now I am taking brown color and a little bit uh, decreasing that whiteness because while mixing I added too much white color. Now, while painting with that white thing, I messed up the round parts, so I'm painting again the black. The round circle should be really round. It's If you look at yourself in the mirror, your eyes, eyeballs inside the black color thing is really round. Krishna is amazing how he created our eyes. I'm again going through those black kajals. Now the reflection part. This is also a very crucial part and my camera goes blurry. Don't worry, Nit while I'm painting Nityananda, Mahar Nityananda Prabhu, the camera should be fine. So reflection. It's a light reflection in our eyes. The lips is easy, just take red color and paint. Actually, this is my first time when I painted the eyes of the deities. The other video I painted Krishna, but he didn't require the painting of the eye. So now I'm painting the Tilak, white Tilak. Lord Chaitanya came as a devotee. Don't worry about the mess up. So like this, I will clean. Carefully. And here comes Lord Chaitanya. While Lord Chaitanya's paintings are drying up, I'm going to paint Lord Nitai. Lord Nitai's eyes, I decided to make blue color. Same way, I'm painting blue color around the black circle of Lord Nitai's eyes. And then nice circle, black circle around that blue color. Again trying to make a really nice circle around that eyeball and kajal. Again going on top of that card place and not worrying about the smudging, later I will correct it. So you know the brush is so big, I couldn't find the thinner brush. I 
And if you are in India, it's better to use enamel paint. You will get the a nice brand. So here again, I took blue color and added white color and water. So here I added um, enough of white, enough of blue, so I, I don't need to add on top of it another blue color. So as you see, it's coming up nicely. Here you need to be really careful, that's why I'm not fast forwarding the video. See, I did a mistake, but I'll correct it. I smudged around that black circle. Now the reflection. If you want to put the reflection, put one light in front of the DT and see where that light is falling. So copy that light and paint that white reflection. Now I'm, I'm painting the same color, green color eyeshadow. I wish we could put eyelashes to the deities. It would be amazing. <laughs> Cleaning up whatever I messed up. And on top of black kajal, I put green. So I'm cleaning up that. Cleaning again. Lips are the same, red color. Inside the ears, red color. The hands, palms, red color. The nails. And then I'm using this diamond glaze to make the like eyes to look like very wet because in real life our eyes are wet, it's shining. So I want to create that picture in the deity. His body is shining, so why not the eyes to make it shine? But you need to be really careful because you need to wait until the paint dries up. Otherwise you will mess up everything. I'll put this in the eyes and on the lips. Do you think Lord Nitai looks like crying? For me, yes. He's telling everyone. Baja go ranga, kaha go ranga. Baja go ranga, Please chant Lord Goranga's names. If you do so, you will be so dear to me. I think he is crying like that. Okay, same thing I'm putting on Lord Chaitanya's eyes. Lord Chaitanya is looking very compassionate. And here comes the outcome. Okay friends, this is it. Thank you so much and hopefully you will also paint your deities. I I suggest you to give to professionals, but if you cannot, then you do it at home. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna.